Bikini Atoll, an idyllic coral island in the Pacific Ocean, was once known for its natural splendor. But in 1954, everything changed when it became the epicenter of the largest nuclear test disaster in U.S. history. Located almost 5,000 miles off the U.S. mainland, Bikini Atoll, one of more than 1,200 Marshall Islands, was occupied by the U.S. Navy towards the end of the Second World War. By 1946, tensions with the East and West were mounting. The race to understand and harness the power of atomic energy was on. Bikini Atoll was chosen as the next location for the U.S. government's secret nuclear tests. Its 167 residents were relocated to an uninhabited island, and a series of nuclear operations began. Then, on March 1, 1954, the U.S. military conducted its largest ever thermonuclear detonation, Castle Bravo. The resulting explosion was beyond anything they had imagined or predicted. More than 1,000 times stronger than the atomic bomb dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima in 1945, Castle Bravo vaporized three entire islands. Within one second, the mushroom cloud had rained deadly radioactive debris onto neighboring atolls, where children played in what they mistakenly thought was snow. Within minutes, the contamination zone had spread 80 miles to a Japanese fishing vessel, the Lucky Dragon. All 23 crewmen fell ill, and one died of acute radiation poisoning. Now news of the secret blast was out and was internationally condemned. Medical studies later revealed the shocking long-term effects of radiation exposure experienced by the Marshallese. The islands suffered long-term environmental destruction, and Bikini Atoll was left uninhabitable. Castle Bravo remains the largest U.S. nuclear contamination accident ever. The Marshallese people have since made March 1st an official day of remembrance to honor victims of nuclear testing. What responsibility do governments have to protect people and the environment?